to support the new AM5 socket of AMD chipsets, aftermarket brands have brought four different motherboard variants X670E, X670, B650E and B650 and finding the difference between these boards can be very confusing. If you want to learn more about these motherboards, then take a look at our today's comparison video between the AMD X670E versus B650E motherboards. Before we jump into the motherboard, let's take a closer look at the new AM5 socket. This is an LGA socket with built-in 1718 pins and this socket can draw powers up to 230 watts at max. Since AMD's E-variant chipsets are highly efficient for overclocking, so it's safe to say that both X670E and B650E are going to be overclocking potential motherboards. The most noticeable key difference between these two AM5 motherboards would be the price. The X670E motherboards are high-end boards and it's expected to be more pricey as they offer more power stages for the top-end overclocking experience. Not only that, but it also comes with full PCIe 5.0 support for the latest GPU and SSDs. And lastly, when it comes to the front and rear I.O., the X670E is more likely to have all the I.O. features including Wi-Fi 6E, USB 4 ports and 10 gigabit LAN connectivities. The B650E, however, comes with an affordable price tag. Compared to X670E boards, B650E is likely to have a few less power stages. They also cut down the PCIe 5.0 compatibility in this motherboard. While the X670E boards have 1x16, 1x8 and up to 2 M2 slots, the B650E lets go of the 8x slot. Although it completely varies on board manufacturers, most B650E motherboards don't come with an 8x slot in the first place. Similarly, the front and rear IOs are also limited on these motherboards. But then again, it completely depends on which board you're looking forward to. Now, if we take Asus's high-end ROG Crosshair X670E motherboard as an example, we can see that it has 20 plus 2 built-in power stages which is impressive enough to support the overclocking potential of the Ryzen 7000 chip. Besides that, it supports DDR5 memory modules up to 6400 MHz including multiple M2 NVMe SSD and PCIe 5.0 slots for GPU as well. As for the connectivity, you'll find a total of 4 USB-C, 8 USB-A ports including Wi-Fi 6 support and a 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet connection at the back I.O. panel. In comparison, the Aorus Master B650E motherboard comes with 16 plus 2 plus 2 power stages which is also sufficient enough to provide top-notch overclocking performance. On top of that, this motherboard also supports DDR5 memory modules up to 6600 MHz with 1x16 PCIe 5.0 slot for GPU and 1 PCIe 5.0 for M2 NVMe SSD. And lastly, it comes with 1 USB-C and a total of 10 USB-A ports at the back I.O. panel which also include Wi-Fi 6E connectivity and a 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet connection. So, specs-wise, obviously the X670E comes with some extra beneficial features compared to the B650E boards, but that don't nearly mean that the B650E will deliver you less performance. Although you might not get those additional features, you'll definitely experience the full potential of the new Ryzen 7000 CPU. The price tag for the X670E motherboard starts somewhere between $500 to $1000, while the B650E boards cost only $300 to $600. You can clearly see the price demands for the X670E motherboards are huge compared to the B650E boards, but you do get some extra connectivity and additional PCIe 5.0 support from this price range. But if these features don't bother you, then B650E motherboards can be a really great option for you. So that was all about the comparison between AMD X670E versus B650E motherboards. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.